Sabe que eu fico pensando aqui, por que você está estudando inglês? Você está pensando numa promoção, no seu trabalho? Ou você conheceu uma garota da Europa, uma inglesinha? Ou você quer viajar, vai fazer um intercâmbio, já quer ir falando? E quando chegar lá, você vai ter que dizer o que você quer e o que você precisa. É por isso que você está estudando inglês? É uma boa ideia. Quando você viaja, você tem que saber dizer o que você quer e o que você precisa. Vamos ver o Follow Me de hoje? Lição 49. Olha só. Lesson 49. Lesson 49. Esta lição foi dedicada especialmente a isso. Ensinar você a dizer o que quer e o que precisa. Follow me. Room, With bath? Oh, yes, we must have a bathroom. And for how long? For ten nights. We prefer a room with a view. And you can't pay more than ten pounds a night. Well, we don't want to pay more than that. Here we are. Just what you want. Does the price include breakfast? Yes. Hello. Those people were saying what they want or need. Our program today tells you how to get the hotel room you want, the meal you want, and so on. It's also a program about Uncle Percy, rich Uncle Percy. There's a letter from my Uncle Percy. Uncle Percy? Hmm. I don't remember him. Was he at the wedding? No. You haven't met him. And the family don't talk about him. They don't like him. Oh. Why? Well, he's very rich, but he never spends any money. Oh. Oh, no. He's going to visit us. Good. Good? You don't know Uncle Percy. Oh, I could tell you some stories about him. Go on, then. Tell me. Well? There was a time he went on holiday. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'd like a single room, please. Yes, sir. <laughs> with a bath? Yes. Yes, with a bath. For how long, sir? For three nights till the 27th. A single room with a bath until the 27th. Yes, we can do that, sir. I'd prefer a room with a view of the sea. All right, sir. I can put you at the front of the hotel. By the way, I can't pay more than five pounds a night. Five pounds a night? <coughs> five pounds a night? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well... He went to different hotels, and at last, he found a little room in a terrible hotel. A prestação de serviços lá na Inglaterra é perfeita. Eles estão super preparados, eles sabem informar tudo o que você precisa saber. Vamos começar reservando o quarto no hotel. Veja aqui. I'd like a single room with a bath. I'd like, eu gostaria, a single room. Um quarto de solteiro com uma cama só. With a bath, com uma banheira. 
A bath é um banho de banheira. A shower, um banho de chuveiro. I'd like a single room with a bath. Come on. I'd like a single room with a bath. Repeat. I'd like a single room with a bath. Very good. For how long, sir? Por quanto tempo, senhor? For how long, sir? How long? Long. Não diga long. Long, no. Long. For how long, sir? Repeat. For how long, sir? Very good. For three nights till the 27th. Por três noites até o dia 27. Olha que número original. The 27th. O 27º dia. É assim que eles falam. For three nights till the 27th. Repeat. For three nights till the 27th. Very good. I prefer, I prefer a room with a view of the sea. A view? Vista. Vista para o mar. Eu prefiro um quarto com vista para o mar. I pref prefer a room with a view of the sea. Repeat. I prefer a room with a view of the sea. Very good. By the way. Ah, esta expressão é muito usada. A propósito. By the way. Aliás. A propósito. By the way, I can't pay more than five pounds a night. Eu não posso pagar mais do que cinco libras por noite. By the way, I can't pay more than five pounds a night. Repeat. By the way, I can't pay more than five pounds a night. Good. He went and found a little room in a terrible hotel at last. Aqui ele pediu um quarto maravilhoso com vista para o mar, banho de banheira por cinco libras. Onde ele acabou? He went and found, ele foi e encontrou a little room, um quartinho, in a terrible hotel. Num hotel horrível, finalmente. At last? Finalmente. Ok? He went and found a little room in a terrible hotel at last. Repeat. He went and found a little room in a terrible hotel at last. Very good. E quando se fala de terrible hotels, você está falando de Londres. Existem hotéis muito pequenos, em prédios super antigos e sem nenhum conforto. Pode crer. Vamos ver, falou me. <coughs> My room's too cold. I want something warmer. Certainly, sir. Of course, it will cost rather more. Oh. Well, can I have another blanket? <coughs> Here we are. Thanks. That is 50 pence, please. And that's my Uncle Percy. Oh, dear. I'd like a single room, please. I'd prefer a room with a view. Viu só? I prefer a room with a view. Quem não prefere, né? Mas eu tenho outras frases para você. Veja aqui. My room is too cold. Meu quarto está frio demais. Too cold. Too cold. My room is too cold. Repeat. My room is too cold. Very good. I want something warmer. Eu quero alguma coisa mais quente. I want something warmer. Come on. I want something warmer. Very good. Of course, it will cost rather more. Claro que ia custar mais. Of course, it would cost rather more. Repeat. Of course, it would cost rather more. Very good. Aqui, of course, você já conhecia. Rather, você também já conhecia. Well, 
Can I have another blanket? Ele desistiu. Quando viu que o preço era mais alto, ele então pediu outro cobertor. A blanket, um cobertor. Another, um outro. Can I have another blanket? Repeat. Well, can I have another blanket? De novo. Well, can I have another blanket? Very good. Sim, porque ficar passando frio não é fácil. Vamos continuar? Follow me. Can I help you, madam? Oh, yes, please. I want a dress size 38. Something not too light. For the daytime, madam. Yes. Have a look at these, madam. Oh, by the way, I didn't want to pay more than 15 pounds. These aren't expensive, madam. What do you think of that? <coughs> I want two tickets in the stalls for Saturday night, please. Yes, this Saturday. Oh. Well, they haven't got any. They've sold out. Oh. Monday. Ask about Monday. Do you have any tickets for Monday? What shall we take for the picnic? I'd like a chicken salad. Yes, okay. Good idea. Your Uncle Percy can't always be like that. Oh, yes, he can. For example, He only buys a suit every 10 years, but he still doesn't want to spend any money. Good morning, sir. I want a suit, please. Yes, sir, I can see that. What kind of suit do you want, sir? I'd like a dark grey suit. Dark grey, yes, sir. Size? Size 38. Very good, sir. Here's a nice dark grey suit in 100% wool. Yes, I like that. A very good suit, sir. And only 170 pounds. How much? 170 pounds, sir. I don't want to pay more than 30 pounds. <clears throat> 30 pounds? For a suit? Yes. No more than 30 pounds. Have you got something cheaper? But of course he couldn't get a suit for that. Oh, yes, he could. That'll do. Here you are, 30 pounds. One, two, three. So, if a strange looking man comes to the door, That'll be my Uncle Percy. I don't want to pay more than 30 pounds. I'd like a dark grey suit. Have you got something cheaper? Olha só. Eu quero uns tickets para a plateia. Quero ficar bem sentado para assistir essa peça. Como é que se diz isso em inglês? Veja só. I want two tickets in the stalls. In the stalls, na plateia. I want two tickets in the stalls for Saturday night, please. I want two tickets in the stalls for Saturday night, please. Repeat. I want two tickets in the stalls for Saturday night. Please. Very good. What shall we take to the picnic? Você viu um, a moça perguntando para o marido, o que nós vamos levar ao piquenique? What shall we take to the picnic? What shall we take to the picnic? Repeat. What shall we take to the picnic? O que devemos levar? Aí ele diz que quer salada de galinha. I'd like chicken salad. I'd like chicken salad. Repeat. I'd like chicken salad. Esse I'd. Que que é esse D aqui? I would. I would. I would like chicken salad. 
I'd like chicken salad. Very good. Your uncle can't always be like that. Seu tio não pode ser sempre assim. Ele estava dizendo que o tio era terrível. E ela disse, seu tio não pode ser sempre assim. Your uncle can't always be like that. Repeat. Your uncle can't always be like that. Very good. He only buys a suit every 10 years. O que, que é a suit? Um terno, uma roupa de homem. Um terno. Ele só compra um terno a cada 10 anos. Fica 10 anos usando a mesma roupa. He only buys a suit every 10 years. Repeat. He only buys a suit every 10 years. Very good. I want a dark gray suit. Ele pedindo um terno. Cinza, escuro. I want a dark gray suit. Tamanho 38. Size 38. Vamos repetir. I want a dark gray suit, size 38. Come on. I want a dark gray suit, size 38. Very good. Here's one in 100% wool. Aqui está um em lã. 100%. Here's one in a hundred percent wool. Wool, W-O-O-L. Ok? Wool. Here's one in a hundred percent wool. Repeat. Here's one in a hundred percent wool. Very good. Only a hundred and seventy pounds. Only a hundred and seventy pounds. Repeat. Only 170 pounds. Good. I don't want to pay more than 30 pounds. Este cara é na pão duro mesmo. I don't want to pay more than 30 pounds. Repeat. I don't want to pay more than 30 pounds. Então, não vai levar 100% wool. É ou não é? Vamos e falou me. Well, it's the Grand Tour of Edinburgh, twice daily. I see. The early ones at 9.30. 9.30 and... They're all listed over here. Oh, I'll here for you. Grand and the next one is at 1.30. Yeah, and they last three hours? About again. three to three and a half hours. That's okay. Thank you very much. And, and they start... You have to book your ticket for this tour, just along here on the right-hand side. Between four and five pounds per person. Yes. Would you like a wash hand basin, please? Is it for one night or? One night. Your last name, please? K-R-O-H-N. K-R-O-H-N. Your nationality? United States, USA. It's 25 pence for the booking fee, please. Give me 25 pence. All I have is 10 pounds. <laughs> Lucky you have. <laughs> We're right here, right beside the station. Yes. yes, we would like to have a little for tonight, bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. They're between four and five pounds for a guest house bed and breakfast. Yes. Is it just for tonight? We think so, yes. Do you want two beds in the one room? Hello, Mrs. Murray. Tourist accommodation here. Do you still have a single room available, please? Have you? Oh, great. Well, can we take one for two nights, please? Mm -hmm. What's your charge, please? Five pounds. So you want to go up to Princess Street, turn left, and it's the third on the right. Oh, yes, I see. You can take this map with you if you want. Can I help you? Je ne parle pas l'anglais, je suis français. Vous oui. comprenez le français? Oui, je parle un peu. Très bien, merci beaucoup. Do you have a map? I can give you a map as well. You have to go around to the accommodation section, it's just around to the left there. Okay. Thank you. Could you print your last name and your nationality for me, please? Thank you. 
25 pence, please. We've put you in with Mrs. K of number 5 Millerfield Place. Mm -hmm. This is the telephone number and it's four pounds each for bed and breakfast. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just show you where Millerfield Place is here. It's not actually marked on the map, but that, it's that road there. And this is where we are now. Okay. Crone of the USA, please. Okay, now we've booked you in to the Glenorchy Hotel on Glenorchy Terrace. This is a telephone number and it's £4.75 per person for bed and breakfast. Okay? Okay. I'll show you where it is. This is where we are right now and Glenorchy Terrace is down here. So... It's rather straightforward. Yes. How will you be getting there? By bus? No, we have a car. You've got a car. Bus. That's fine. So if you can get down onto the North Bridge, right. just go straight the way down the road, into Menton Terrace, and then up to Glenorchy Terrace that way. Okay? To <laughs> you won't believe this. But Uncle Percy took me out for a meal once. Really? Mm. Was it a good meal? It was an Uncle Percy meal. We'd like roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, potatoes and peas. Very good, sir. Two roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, potatoes and peas. One. Pardon, sir? I want one roast beef, Yorkshire pudding potatoes and peas and two plates we're not very hungry are we no uncle he's funny well yes sad but funny when's he going to visit us he doesn't say i'll visit you soon but he won't come if it costs too much. Perhaps he'll get a cheap day return ticket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go. Good heavens. Hello, my boy. Come in. Darling, we've got a visitor. Hello. I'm your Uncle Percy. Oh! É, eu também fiquei de boca aberta. Mas você vai repetir agora sem ler. Veja bem. Well, there are surprises here too. Sim, há surpresas aqui também. Well, there are surprises here too. Repeat. Well, there are surprises here too. Mais uma. Not only in your soap opera. Not only in your soap opera. Não apenas em sua novela. Not only in your soap opera. Repeat. Not only in your soap opera. Ok? Por falar em novela, hein? Algumas estão terríveis ultimamente. Mas vamos ao follow me, que é isso que interessa. Well, today you should try to remember. I'd like a single room, please. I'd prefer a room with a view. I'd like a dark grey suit. I don't want to pay more than 30 pounds. Have you got something cheaper? We'd like roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, potatoes and peas. I'm sorry I wasn't at your wedding. I was ill. I'm all right now, but I thought a lot. Yes, I thought about a lot of things. I decided to live a little before it's too late. A very good idea, Uncle. Yes, you only live once. Oh, here's your wedding present. I hope you don't mind money. I didn't want to buy the wrong thing. Oh. Money's fine, Uncle. Thanks very much.
Olha só, estamos terminando a lição 49. Coisa boa, você já está chegando na lição 50. Quanta coisa a gente tem aprendido juntos nesses tempinhos todos. É tão bom estar com você, é uma satisfação muito grande ser professora de inglês. Você sabia? Uma das melhores profissões para a mulher é ser professora. E ser professora de inglês é a melhor de todas. Eu tenho certeza que você vai estar comigo na próxima aula. Olha que confiança, hein? E vai fazer comigo a lição 50. You're going to be here with me next class and we're going to study lesson 50 together. Thank you very much. Goodbye.